All right, so you finally sit down for that big Zoom meeting that you've been waiting for all week. Or maybe you're trying to do a Netflix binge of your favorite show, and all of a sudden the sound on your computer decides to stop working. Don't worry, it might not necessarily be that your speakers went out. Sometimes it's Windows being Windows. And today, we're gonna talk about some of the common fixes or things that can happen in the operating system on Windows 11 to stop your audio from working, or things that you might just need to check to get it working again. We'll get into some advanced fixes as well, and it's all things that you can easily follow along with on screen. I'll show you how to do it step by step, so follow me as I show you how to fix those pesky audio issues on Windows 11. Okay, so let's get the easy ones out of the way. Now, a great place to start when you start having audio issues is in the audio settings of the actual operating system. So we're gonna go into the Windows 11 settings, we can press Windows key and I, or we could right click on our start menu, choose the settings option, and we're gonna go into system and then sound. Now, once we're in here, we can gain a lot of info. We can see a lot of the issues that might be um, easily fixed, such as default audio device. Let's say Windows accidentally changed your default input or output device to the wrong um, audio device. So instead of the microphone you're trying to use, it changes it to maybe like the built-in microphone on your laptop or again, speakers. Maybe you're trying to use um, some Bluetooth speakers or some that you plugged in and it's resorting to the monitor or to the laptop speakers that are built in. From here, you can see we can check what is the default input and output. Input being like a microphone <laughs> when we input right going in and then output being speakers, what's coming out. Go ahead and go through this. Check to make sure that the device that you are trying to use is set to the default for either input or output, whatever you're having issues with. And while you're at it, since we're right here, we can go ahead and check to make sure it's not muted. I know that seems like a simple one, but you wouldn't believe the amount of people that accidentally just mute their sound and don't realize it. So check for uh, muted audio here. If it's muted, you can unmute it, check the volume, check for the default, and you can open up the volume mixer to make sure that the specific application or program you're trying to use is not muted and is turned up and is using the right device. I'm showing all this here on screen. You could just kind of go through. Here's where you check to make sure that it's the default, check for mute, and then again, go ahead and check the volume mixer or that specific application or program. Is it set to the right audio device? If so, this all looks good, you can move it to the next section. Okay, the next big one is going to be drivers, right? So our audio devices have drivers, that's the software that allows them to run properly on the computer without issues, right? Or run period. And so we need to make sure that those are not having issues. What we can do is we can right click on the start menu. We can go to device manager from the list that comes up and we can expand the sound section okay under audio looking under sound and audio we can look for audio devices that seem to be having trouble sometimes they'll show a yellow like a little caution or warning icon next to them that's a good sign that there's a driver issue you can try to update them right from here by right clicking on it and then hitting update driver although that doesn't always work sometimes it's better just to go to the manufacturer's site find the driver, make sure it's the right one, and then install it yourself manually. This should fix any driver issues that you have. You may need to restart your computer for it to kick in. You may need to just remove the driver if it's a plug and play driver. For some audio devices, you may just need to delete it from the device manager list, restart the computer, come back in here, see if it's showing up and not showing that warning or caution symbol anymore. So. If you uh, already checked the default settings like we just did and went into the, the mixer, looking at the default audio devices, and that was not the issue, I would check the driver next, okay? All right, now this next one is a little bit more technical. It's a little bit more hidden. If you go into your sound settings, like we did before, you look at the device properties, and you go to enhancements, Windows actually has some built-in sound enhancements that supposedly make your audio better, or they're supposed to make your audio better spoiler they don't always do that okay so sometimes they actually add distortion echo or they make things go totally silent what we can do is we can right click the speaker icon go into sound settings 
choose the device you're having trouble with, go to the device properties, go to audio enhancements and toggle those off, okay? Because if your music suddenly sounds like it's playing from a tin can underwater, that might just be Windows trying to enhance it. Now, of course, if you're having issues with the device actually showing up, if it's not showing up at all, I do recommend if it's plugged in, uh, go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in. Sometimes just reseating the cable itself can fix the issue. And then of course, if it's Bluetooth or wireless connection, go into the Bluetooth settings, disconnect the device if it's showing up and having issues, or if it's not showing up, make sure you pair it correctly. So a lot of devices come with their own pairing instructions pair the device first and then go from there. Sometimes it's as simple as that. However, if you're still having trouble after that, you can even head into the settings, go to system, go to audio and run the built-in troubleshooter, okay? Like I'm doing here on, on screen. You can run the built-in Windows 11 troubleshooter and it might be able to identify the issue and repair it or at least identify it so you have a, a place to start or know sort of what's going on with the audio device, okay? So don't be afraid to run that built-in troubleshooter. Don't feel silly unplugging it and plugging it back in a few times or disconnecting it and reconnecting it in the Bluetooth. Sometimes that's all it takes. All right, so to review, we basically have keeping your drivers up to date, keeping Windows up to date, that's always key. Restart your system after you do some of the fixes in here or just try restarting, period. Check the basics, go check the default audio device. Go check to make sure it's not muted. Um, unplugging and replugging, disconnecting and reconnecting if it's a Bluetooth connection. These are all good ideas, built-in troubleshooter, things like that. Now, if none of this works, if you've tried all of it and you're still having trouble, reach out to us here at My Computer Works. We'll be happy to help. We help people all the time with audio issues, getting their speakers back up and running or getting their microphone working so they can, you know, talk on Zoom and things like that, like we talked about. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe so I can see you on the next one.